So I bought myself an awning. It's actually a second hand one from Trade Me. Apparently it's only been used once and it was the wrong size. And it's like the cheapest awning I could find. I just kind of wanted something for winter. Just somewhere that when I open the door, all this water won't come in. Like once in a while cooking, it's sometimes, sometimes you just need the door open just to make sure that the fire alarm doesn't go off. And when it's raining, it's just nice to store wet clothes somewhere other than inside the caravan. <laughs> also, I might be able to put my recycling out there as well. Just create a little bit more space in the caravan. Oh good, it comes with instructions. Blah, blah. So the next stage, take poles and thread through. <laughs> now this feels like camping. I used to do a bit of um, holidays with intense. A cheap way of seeing New Zealand. Hire a, a car and take a tent. One. So one of these poles is apparently shorter. They all look the same length to me. So here's the diagram. Two long poles, but they're the same length pole. Okay, this one's different. It's got this on both ends. I'm gonna assume that's just the third pole. That's really tight. Okay. Pigs next. Just noticed this is where I should have this. I was wondering why it was just kind of on its own. Oops. Yeah, it's already. Don't do that, that's not what you're supposed to do. Well, it's sitting in. Already managed to damage my brand new awning. I hadn't realized there's actually three doors to this. And it's a good size. It is really nice being able to have the door open on a wet day and not have rain come in. It just feels less claustrophobic when I can open the door on a wet day. So I've been stuck in this caravan way too much the last few days so I am just leaving my laptop behind and heading to the beach today. It's like a stunning day. <laughs> There's something about walking along a beach and just thinking, daydreaming, that just really clears the head. It's exactly what I've needed actually today. 
I just needed that nature time away from my computer, I think. And it's a Tuesday, so there's hardly anyone here. I've passed two people. And I think I've been walking for half an hour. Well, I'm actually, I'm really loving this awning space. It's just like the perfect size to put a few things outside. I had a wet towel in the caravan. You know, sometimes a wet towel has that weird smell. And it was just, it was just throughout the whole caravan. So I just threw it outside. <laughs> so this is just going to be very handy. I might end up getting a container for my recycling, but at the moment I've just shoved it in a plastic bag outside and it's just full of working gear and cleaning gear at the moment so it's a bit of a mess <laughs> but but it's a very handy space so today i'm actually going to clean out my car and also a couple of people mentioned how worried they were that the spare tire was sitting on my back seat so today i'm going to rearrange the car and have the tire in the boot and maybe secure it down a little bit for a bit more safety First thing I'm putting back is a spare tire, just because I think it'll be the most awkward to fit in. And I've got some rope to tie it in firmly as well. Now I can't wait to get rid of this for the grey water. It's so bulky, it takes up too much room. So when I finally get tanks fitted underneath the caravan, then I'll be able to throw this out. And I find I keep collecting more and more tools. I've now got a trolley jack and this set of a socket set. Not that I've really used this yet. Um, that was when I was got my first flat tire and was trying to figure out what I was doing. But a jack is a definite. Learn from my mistakes. And I bought these to. I had this grand plan of making making this awning like kind of a. A small, small one that just kind of sits out a little bit. I never got around to it, so I'm just keeping these in the boot. <laughs> and then there's my spare cassette. I don't know if I really need one. It's just taking up room. I haven't got into trouble yet with my toilet cassette, so I don't know if I really need a spare one in the boot. And these are my other grey water tanks. These are the ones I can actually lift myself. And my fresh water tank. This one's great, it's just a small backup and the lid is large enough to get the um, the water pump in. <laughs> when I travel I like to have my large fresh water tank in the boot so I'll have to do a little bit of shuffling but for now while I'm staying put for a few weeks all the tanks can be in the boot and then I've got my oil and then water that I use just for the car. Toilet cassette chemicals. I actually find it handy to keep them in the car. I put the toilet cassette in the boot and drive to the dumping station. And it's just easier to put this liquid straight in into the toilet cassette after emptying it. And then, uh, yeah, bits and pieces. These are the choke chokes for the levelers that I still haven't managed to make work. And I found tarps just really handy to have, along with some rope. All right, I think that's it for the boot. A folding chair. I had thought I'd use one of these all the time when I first got the caravan. I hardly have, but it has been handy, like the odd times where you need your own chair to socialize, or yeah, on a beautiful day like this, could always sit outside in the folded chair. And I'm still dragging these levers around even though I still haven't successfully made them work. And my love-hate relationship with this. 
it is handy but yeah the suction cup is not so good and good for security a wheel lock I have heard there is a smaller one you can get which would be tempting to get this is quite um, fiddly and bulky but does the job so that's it sorted out the car feeling a lot more organized and even got a few things to get rid of so it's been pretty good and I want to thank my patrons Alan, Pauline, Dennis, Luther, David and Matthew thank you guys and to all my patrons I really appreciate your help and I had my very first live stream on Patreon this week it was an hour talk where I answered everyone's questions and basically got everyone up to date with what I've been doing and that's something I plan to do once a month on Patreon for the $5 and up categories.